what's going on guys hope you guys are having a great day in today's video we are talking about team of the year predictions baby team of the year is two months away we decided let's get the predictions now and by the title of this video you guys can already assume that i'm gonna start it off with under 23 so let's not waste any time and uh, unfortunately guys i'm actually gonna break this down line by line by each team of the year because if i did the whole team of the year this video would probably be 20 minutes so i kind of want it to be faster than uh 20 minutes obviously so let's not waste any time also if you guys haven't checked out revive legacy do his stuff go check it out some good stuff and uh yeah guys let's get right into it so starting it off we got our boy the captain himself connor mcdavid baby and do I even really need to explain this one? <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I, I really need to. But either way, Connor McDavid, an absolute beast. 54 points in 49 games. Sitting 10th spot right now on the point list in the NHL. So, Connor McDavid is Connor McDavid. And with that being said, he's getting a 99 overall, baby. Just like the usual. Currently, I think he's actually a 97 overall after that All-Star weekend. So, um, I don't see why he doesn't get an extra 2 or 3 boosts there. And, uh, yeah, other than that, Connor McDavid, the most obvious pick for Team of the Year. Moving on to the second slot, this was a very big shocker this season, but Matthew Barzell on the New York Islanders absolutely tearing it up with Jordan Eberle, John Tavares, and that team is definitely forming something special. Hopefully, John Tavares can stay in New York and possibly actually win a cup there one day. But Matthew Barzell, man, 50 50 games, sorry, and 51 points. So he is a point per game player as well, which is insane. No one even knew who he was coming up from this season. So that is insane. Good for him. And hopefully he can continue it. But with that being said, I'm actually going to give Matthew Barzell a 98 overall, unfortunately. But um, don't you guys worry. There's still going to be some more 99s on this team. I just decided to put them on the second line. Um, just based off of names um by the way guys i'm just organizing this who i think has played as a top performing under 23 players mcdavid is obviously the best under 23 player no doubt right now so obviously he's gonna be on the first line but uh yeah mcdavid in 99 Barzell in 98 moving on to the third and last player on the first line we got our boy Jack Eichel another point per game player 49 points in 49 games uh, absolutely tearing it up had a great all-star weekend uh, and had a four point night about a week ago against the Oilers so good for him hopefully he can elevate his game higher enough where he can eventually lead Buffalo to a playoff run and hopefully go far deep because they have a nice solid defensive core and their offense is just absolutely insane. So hopefully they can, inf hopefully they can form something crazy one day. But um, that would be amazing to see. But that's gonna wrap it up for the first sign, guys. Let's move on to the defenseman, and we are going to Philly for this one. Shane Gostas Bear, baby. Yep, I called it day one. I said he's gonna be a 95 by the end of the year at least, with how low the overalls were. But Shane Gosses Bear. By the way, guys, Jack Eichel, 99 overall. Boom! Shane Gosses Bear, 33 points in 45 games. Obviously, not the hot start. Well, obviously, he had a hot start at the beginning of the season. Kind of cooled off near the end here. Um, we're still midway through. Hopefully, Philly can finally make another playoff run. That would be amazing. Voracek, Wayne Train Simmons. Uh, you got Nolan Patrick now. Gosses Bear. Um, I forget that rookie's name on defense as well. You guys probably know who I'm talking about if you're a Flyers fan. Uh, even Giroux, man. So there's a lot of talent on that team, and hopefully they can get something done in the postseason this year. So Shane Goss, Bear, you are going to be the first defenseman on the team of the year under 23, and I'm giving you a 99 overall. But with that being said, guys, we are going to move on to the second pairing defenseman. And uh, this one was actually hard for me to decide, but um, I thought it was more appropriate if I put this guy on. And obviously, you guys probably are going to guess that it is Mikhail Sergachev, baby. was absolutely crazy that he got traded for Druin. Um, not even the trade himself, but the fact of 
him producing so much work after being traded to Tampa. Obviously, he's playing with Hedman, Kucherov, Stamkos, all these great talented players. But he also has 27 points in 47 games. Um, not crazy, but you know what? He's still under 23. He's had a great season, and compared to last year, I mean, last year, I think there was a stat in his first 20 I I think in his first eight games with Tampa, he had more points with Tampa in those eight games than he did with Montreal all season last year in a full season. So that's insane how far he's already come. Obviously, he's with a great talent of players, so that's not a really big surprise. But for that, Sergeyev is actually only going to get a 96 overall from me. Not too high but he has been one of the most top performing young defensemen in the league so with that being said guys that's gonna wrap it up for that hope you guys enjoyed the video um i decided i'm probably gonna do the second line with the goalie in the next video so unfortunately guys if you are watching this and hoping to know the goalie um you won't know till next video unfortunately so sorry about that but Hope you guys enjoyed this prediction video. If you guys want to see more of these, comment down below and I will be sure to drop some more soon. So hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.